What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be telling you all about the guild system in MS2, so let's get to it. So here's our guild overview. You can change your emblem on the left side by clicking it like that. I currently already have a picture here, so I would just click it and click set. If you wanted to add a new one, oh, shout out to the subscription right there. Really appreciate that, William. On the right side, we have our guild information. This is our name, our level, our guild funds, the date it was formed, the amount of members, and the guild leader. If we hover over the eye next to the experience, you get experience for attendance, minigame participation, and the guild quest completion. Right underneath our XP bar, we have the guild funds. So you can earn this by doing daily attendance, the donation, which is right here on the bottom. You can donate up to 100,000 mesos every day. I already donated today, so it won't let me. You can also earn by minigame war participation and the guild quest completion. So looking a little to the right here, you can see the guild rankings. I'll show you that in a moment. These are the guild trophies right here, the guild's gear score, and the guild's level added up all together. If you click on the rankings, you can see the Maple Huts guild rank right there and the name, and the top ranked guild and the server that I'm currently in. The guild rankings are done by total trophies, so the more trophies that you have, the better off you'll be. Here we have the members tab. On the right side, we have the sort order. I like sorting it by contribution, but you can click it and sort it by how you would like. Moving on to the guild buff section, you can use the guild funds to purchase guild uh, skills here for 20 million mesos. You can also upgrade the skills for 30 million mesos. I'm not sure if it increases the duration that you can use the skill or if it makes the skill better. I'll leave any extra information that I have about the guilds in the description below. Moving on to personal buffs here, you can use your personal mesos on whatever buffs are in the shop. Similarly to the guild buffs, you can increase the level of the skill by using 20 million of the guild funds which we currently don't have. Here in the arcade tab, you can play the different mini games that are available. Currently, there are four different mini games that you can play two that are more casual and two that are PvP. The Dance Dance Stop is currently unavailable. Uh, what they did in KMS2 is that they would open this up for one day, which was Saturday, that you could play it, and every other day was locked. So maybe GMS will do something similar to that. Inside of the Guild House tab, this is where it tells us all the different information about our Guild House. Uh, it's currently level 1, we have the Manovich Castle, the size is 12 by 12 and with the different amenities that we have. Over here on services, this is where you hire all the different merchants that you're going to have inside of your guild house, which are currently these three NPCs right here. We have the gemstone shop, the supply shop, and the uh, chairwoman which gives us our daily guild quest. So as your guild levels up and the more guild funds you get, you will be able to purchase higher level merchants and different merchants that can get you different things. Inside of the gifting box here, this is where you can gift different items out to the guild. So if I come over here to Marianne, she is the supply shop. And if I were to buy, let's just say, one of these weapons right here, it's going to end up in our gift bank and we can then gift it to whatever guildie we would like after that. Inside of the gift log, this is going to show the recent transactions or recent gifts that went on inside of the gift log, which I think is pretty cool. Inside of the applications tab, we currently have 11 applicants. I wish I could accept everybody, but since we have a cap on the guild, you know I can't do that. But this is where you would accept or decline any of the applications to the guild. Now looking at the manage tab, this is the most important tab in my opinion. This is where you're going to be creating your ranks and your rights, so giving privileges to whatever role and renaming your roles. If I wanted to give a guildie a role, I would just click on their name, change the rank, and give them whatever respective rank that I changed in the ranks and rights. You can also make your guildies a leader or kick them if you would like. I'm not going to do either of each for obvious reasons. Now looking down here at the bottom, this is where you enter your guild house. I'm currently in there right now, so it's not going to teleport me anywhere else. The donation button that I talked about earlier, you can donate 100k mesos. The invite members tab, if you type in the IGN of whoever you would like to invite, click OK. That person's going to get an invite, yes or no. They click yes or no, and that's when they uh, join the guild or not. You can send mail right here to everyone in the guild. Just enter your title and type whatever you would like. I definitely butchered that very bad. The character count goes up to 1,000, which is a nice amount of characters, to be honest. And lastly, we have the check-in button. So the check-in is what you're going to want to do every day as a guild member, no matter if you're a leader or not. You want to check in, do your donations, and do your guild quest every single day. To be able to successfully do your guild quests, you need at least three guildies in your party, and you all need to be on the same map. Sometimes there will be weeklies that you need to do, and this rule is the same. So today the guild quest was to kill 100 plant type monsters. To give you a quick tip, open up your map, type in plant, and this is going to show us where all of the different uh, plant type monsters are on the map. 
I would recommend going to one of the lower levels just because it's really easy to kill these mobs and you'll be done with it really quickly. Inside of the guild house you can attack these dummies over here and what's nice is that you can turn on the damage meter. I heard that the damage meter wasn't really working right now but let's turn it on to see how it's doing. Looks like it's working fine so yeah you can test out your uh, your damage here, you can test out your DPS. When we come to the left side you can register a poster which works similarly to the guild emblem that I showed earlier. If you have a picture here you can set it and it's going to show up here right on the front. So I'm going to go ahead and go through all the items in the shop. You guys can go ahead and pause the video if you would like to see the descriptions of any of these specific items. To be able to purchase some of the items in the shop you may need guild coins and to get those you just do your daily quest and you get a certain amount every day. Alright guys that's going to do it for this video. If you guys have any questions or comments leave them in the section below and be sure to check out the description while you're at it. It has been your guys, Sabbity Babbity. Peace.